Hi guys, welcome back. It's your Colorado sensation. Rex, how are you doing today? Uh, so, ooh, that lip just transferred. But anyways, um, we're just gonna get hop in so you guys can learn how to do this pink bubble dream cloud eye look. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so quick disclaimer before we get into the video. Um, I'm filming at a new angle, which all that means is my phone instead of being vertical is now horizontal. So if I do veer to the right a little bit, it's not my intention. I'm just trying to give you guys some entertainment. So yeah, let's get into it. Two new products I have yet to try. They're not necessarily new in like the beauty world. They've been, they've been used. They've been there held back again but you know what we're gonna try it out today so first things first i have the matte poreless maybelline fit me foundation shade 112 i'm excited because it's poreless and um being a teenager with skin issues it's not a fun next thing i'm so excited to try this i went to sephora the other day and like spent my birthday money on it is uh, the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder by Rihanna in shade Lavender. It just says Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. It doesn't necessarily mean matte or mean sheer or what. So we're gonna try that out with the best intention. Ooh, look at it. Look at that, look at it, look at this. This is amazing, this is amazing. I'm so excited. Mm, now, what I do have to say is I don't like seeing my fingerprints, but you know what? I'll get over it. It's very pretty. I'm nude. Congrats. We are back with another video. I'm going to take like this dusty beat up blender of mine and with the pigments we mixed up. Um, we're going to pat it all over my face like a normal foundation. But quick tip and note to you guys. When you're making mixing colors and pigments with foundations, make sure your foundation's light enough. Also, make sure it's light enough where you can like contour and bronze your face with like eyeshadows. So, yeah, that's baby pink. It covers up my acne. Decent. It's not sheer. It's like a medium coverage foundation, which is nice, but at the same time, it is drugstore, so you can't be expecting like Oh, it's a Juvia's Place type foundation where it's full coverage. Which, P.S., if you're spending more than like 50 bucks on your foundation, mm, honey, we're going to powder my face and we're going to go in with the Fenty powder. So I'm going to pick up a little bit with the Laura Mercier Poof and just going to, mm, mm-hmm. The reason I poof before going in with concealer is because this is gonna allow the concealer to be a little more brighter than the entire makeup itself. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna be using the ELF 16 hour cameo concealers. I've been using this for a little bit and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually decent and it's a dupe of the Shape Tape one. You really don't need anything else, to be honest. Like this one, you're good and you're done. So I'm just gonna take like on a little flat brush that you would use to like carve your brows out. I'm just gonna like add it. Now I will say this, you have to kind of work fast cause this one's like dries out extremely quickly. And you might be like, well that's cause you put the powder on before the concealer. And I'm literally telling you, even if I didn't put the powder on before the concealer, it dries down so quickly okay that sound is satisfying so after giving my face the high points it needs to we're gonna go back in with the powder and we're gonna powder it again and honestly i'm loving this powder like it smells good it's set it is very matte so i wouldn't necessarily use this more of like a blotting powder, but I would say I would use it more as just like a set um, prep type situation. Okay, since my high points are there, the skin is pink, 
it has been set with powder. We're ready to go in and contour with eyeshadow. Now, if you haven't seen my first video, don't worry. This eyeshadow palette is listed down. This is the Alexis Stone X Makeup Revolution, or put it in reverse. I don't really care. Eyeshadow palette. And you see how it has just these beautiful pinks and red tones going on? Well, we're going to use those things until the sun dies down. So first things first, we're going to go on with this extremely lighter pink shade and a touch of that lavender color to kind of start the bronze slash contour process. It's like a pink contour, yay. Okay, so question, who else has been like watching Halloween and Christmas movies right now to keep themselves like preoccupied through summer quarantine? Cause we all thought school quarantine was difficult cause school sucks, but it's just, I don't know. It's literally like now all I really have fun to do is going to the grocery store and order coffee. <laughs> first world issues in my right but yeah look at this look at this look at this ah. oh okay now i'm starting to look like a strawberry shortcake and i need to like make sure this pigment is on my neck oh btw i'm using now like an angle brush and like squishing it together to create this like really really fine contour so that way i can just tap on my nose contour without creating any issues I'm blending that out. Because look, when I face forward, oh, cute. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, I love this. So I've dusted, I've mustard, and now I've done everything I could. We're going to set this on my face using the NYX Dewy Finish Such a Straw. And I feel like my face has been covered in the desert of powder. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'm gonna do one eye off camera as well. So that way I can save a little bit of camera time. That was a little, I used the word camera a lot in that sentence. <laughs> Damn. Um. So yeah, I'm like absolutely in love with this look. Um. But I feel like you guys would love it even more if I showed you how to do it on this side. I'm taking a fluffy brush and going in with the BH Cosmetics Tokyo Trending in Tokyo eyeshadow palette. And we're just gonna be using the pinks. Um, I'm gonna go in like with the really, really dark color and shade Mount Fuji. I'm just gonna start applying this dark shade in the crease to start and build up that depth. I'm just gonna blend that darker pink upwards. Up, 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 and out. Up and out's the name of the game. And I'm gonna go on my e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. And we are going to create this like cloud cut crease type moment. Um, here's how you do it. You get a concealer brush, a really flat, rounded head brush. And we're just gonna start by creating these like curve shape. When we get the first one done, all I'm going to do is pull out some of the concealer product to start creating that final little cloud dewy. Okay, so now that we have our cloud all taken care of, we're going to go in with a little powder and just make it white and set it in place. Oh my god, so how's your guys' 4th of July? I want to know because mine was good. We literally watched our neighbors like just set off a shit ton of illegal fireworks. And it was sick, it was dope. Now we're gonna go in with the dark pink Mount Fiji again, and we're just gonna apply that on the outer corner and kind of bring it down on the lash line to create this like faded smoky effect. Now I'm gonna go in with Emoji and mix it with Blossom and this we're just gonna go side to side and blend it into the cloud. Now I'm gonna go do my wing off camera and I'll be right back to apply some lash. Okay, so I did a very, very chunky like wing look as you can tell. I didn't want it to be like thin and cutesy. I didn't want it to be like a guru sharp and out there. I wanted to be chunky but still make that wing type form. 
So that way when we put on these dramatic ash lashes, there's not really much of a difference that can be seen. So, um, these lashes won't be listed down below because I made these myself. Like I took like a bunch of lashes together and just like made my own type of dramatic lash. I like to call these my drag lashes because they're that, they're, they're that dramatic. Now, while the glue dries, I'm gonna go with my Princess Waterproof Mascara and we're just gonna give my lashes a nice coat of this beautiful black mascara. My lashes are probably glue stacky enough. We're gonna stick those bad boys on there. It's looking real, real fab. This one up as well. Woo, I can fly away. So bubbles, bubbles. You're welcome. Uh, so we're gonna take the pencil white liner and then the liquid light white liner from NYX Cosmetics, Epic Ink. Uh, and we are going to sketch out the bubbles that we want to have on our face. So now that I'm done sketching out the bubbles, we're gonna do some eyeshadow art with that. So going back in with the Trending in Tokyo palette from BH Cosmetics, we're gonna focus on this blue and this yellow. Uh, this will be creating kind of those highlights that you see in the bubbles. So just taking some blue and tapping it so lightly in each one of these guys upper section. Now we're gonna go in with the yellow and focus on this bottom part. Now we're just gonna go in and add some highlighting with the liquids, the liquid white, the liquid NYX, the liquid, what a fun word, liquid. Like, like look how pretty, it just makes the bubble stand out even more. And to create those highlights, I'm just gonna draw like a line and a dot, like boop. Okay, okay, so now that all the bubbles are highlighted and they're pretty much done, we're just gonna go on the lips now. I feel like for this look, we need to make the lips like have their own statement. So I'm gonna go on with the Fenty lipstick in shade Black. Or I think that's what the shade's called. If it's not, I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay, so. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but my belly just growled like so long. So I'm gonna go with the Ufra Cosmetics in Covenant Gardens. It's like a cute pink purple shade. Now I'm gonna do, oh my God, look at that. And just pat, 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 and then go back and forth. Look, this is a must. A must, a must. So without further ado, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys have an like, amazing day or like, oh, whatever. And when those Karens wanna put you on your ass, you give them the finger. You give them the bird. You give them the phone, the finger, the one, the number one, they're number one. Aren't they, guys? They're number one. Anyways, I hope you guys like enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna go eat dinner because I'm starving. Um, but yeah. Bye.